Hello and happy Wednesday. Here we are back again for another edition of Lunch and Learn with Melinda and Krista. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. <laughs> Today we're going to delight you with the sense of not just this season of um, the day. I don't know. <laughs> We're going to talk about fragrance today. You know, during the holidays is a great season for um, fragrance to be play a big part of gifts that you find under the tree. So we're going to talk to you about what Mary Kay has to offer. But first, let's start with our introductions in case we have some new people that pop on here today. My name is Melinda Pearson, and I have been representing Mary Kay for almost 27 years and feel absolutely privileged that it's an honor and a blessing to represent this great company, Mary Kay Ashley lady um, who had a vision to enrich the lives of women all those years ago. And um, I will say it has definitely enriched my life. So um, thanks for being on if you're on this today. Hello, everyone. I'll introduce myself. I'm Krista Cunin, and I am Melinda's sister. We've been together representing Mary Kay for over 25 years. And what a blessing it has been for both of us. I speak for her, too. I know she feels the same, that we have enjoyed working and being on this journey together. And what a difference it has made for our relationship, but as well as just who we are as women, because it's a great company that um, really praises women to success and supports that positive environment. So what a blessing. Um, and I just have a question. Melinda, when we... When you watch a video or when you watch a um, like a sales thing on any kind of new product, does it make you a little frustrated when they make you wait for several minutes and they don't tell you till the very end? <laughs> yeah, like, you know, when you are on uh, watching your something that's streaming and an ad cuts in and then you're like, oh, that sounds kind of interesting. But you're like, watch and watch it. Yeah, that drives me crazy. Yes. So, so. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> I think it does. It, it, you know, time is valuable and we only do this for half an hour and we want to share the new with you right now. We're not going to make you wait. We're going to share our new friend, this new scent, this new fragrance that is absolutely exquisite so before we even introduce you can see the bottle but i'm going to play a little video for all of you and hello to those of you that are on be sure to drop in a, a little emoji or a wave hello tell us that you're with us and what what you're excited about what kind of sense do you like we we want to know so i'm going to share my screen and we're going to go here Let's see. Can you see it? Yep, it's up. Can't hear it though. You can't? Mm -mm. Well, looks pretty. It's short and sweet. So, oh, I want to go back to here. <laughs> um, Illuminea is the name of that. I'm sorry you didn't get to hear them say the name of this exquisite perfume, Illuminea. Melinda, do you, is it just... It's so beautiful. Do you have the the details? I do. I, I do. It actually, you know, I think even um, the bottle just says a lot. This 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 perfume um, was created in honor of Mary Kay Ash, the the lady. So it is an extrait de parfum, which is the highest concentration of fragrance oils that you'll that you know that you'll find in a perfume. And that's considered the longest lasting form of a fragrance. So this is going to be one of those fragrances that you'll be able to put on in the morning and it will be with you at the end of the day, um, depending on your body chemistry, seven to eight hours when you get when you get to the end. Um, I'll tell you what the notes of inspiration were. And I apologize. My dog is in the background barking. 
<laughs> so it's real so life, sorry. ladies. <laughs> right, Zoom life for sure. Um, so this fragrance, the inspiration of it was to exude confidence, uh, warmth, and light just like the woman who wears it. Uh, it's a decadent scent that's gonna dance on your skin with the opening notes of spice leading into a luminous fruity floral and finishing with the notes of woodsy, rich warmth. Okay, so that first spark is gonna help you feel inspired. It's inspired with the uplifting notes of mandarin and quince, which I don't know what quince is, but it smells good. Um, the bright spiciness of pink pepper and fresh morning dew. Now, how do they how do they encapsulate morning dew? Uh, right. But those fragrance house, um, those fragrance perfumer masters, I'm not exactly sure what they're called, but they they can do it. <laughs> That's going to grow into a flame. Um, this It's going to bloom into a luminous, fruity floral blend of red apricot, orange blossom, scarlet peony, water lotus and honeysuckle and then it's gonna just settle in delivering an enduring heartfelt finish and that finish is gonna be um rich notes of florentine iris absolute violet leaves cashmere woods deep vanilla and white moss is what it's gonna settle into so those are gonna be those bottom notes that you'll that'll be with you all day long as it goes, as it settled in with the, the pH of your skin. So absolutely beautiful. I love even the weight of the bottle. It's a heavier bottle, just really exquisite, um, probably close to those other Couture fragrances that you'd find out there on the market. Mary Kay has this one for you. It's going to retail for $70 and I didn't grab it, but there is a special edition, limited edition body souffle that will envelope your body like plush cashmere um, moisturizing it for 24 hours and that's available for the holidays um for 30 dollars so yes and those will start, for 100 dollars right land on our website starting on november 16th so if you go to mary day mary you will not see those yet but they are coming you are getting the initial the initial first peak at this brand newly launched product so that is yeah. Let me tell you what it says. That, um, Illuminae Extrait de Parfum exemplifies the Mary Kay story. It's distinct, powerful, long-lasting, and memorable, just like the woman who inspired it. Mary Kay Ash and the women who continue to light the way, independent national sales directors. So it really was um, formulated when they went to um, seek out this, this fragrance in with Mary Kay Ash and our national sales directors in mind. So yeah. Cool. And, and Wanda looked up what what quince quince keens. I don't know oh. how to say it is. It's a fruit. Looks oh. like a pear. Oh. So thank you, Wanda. I love that oh. that you were helping us out with good old Google. <laughs> Google, yeah, like yeah, or Siri or whoever she got it from. Yeah. Right before those days. So love it. Thank yeah. you. I heard there's <laughs> some other ones. So Google, Siri, Duck Duck Goose. Have you heard that one? That's another like that you can like a platform or whatever that you can get. Oh they really? Search, Bing. Yeah. Duck, duck, I goose. Knew about Bing, but I didn't know about duck, duck, goose. <laughs> what a Other name. A preschool That's game you play with children. Right. Right. So I guess find the answer. Duck, duck. <laughs> anyway, thanks Wanda. I appreciate that. So, yes. okay, 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 okay. So we move on to some of those other ones. Do you want to talk about your favorites? Yes. I'm going to share my screen again, and we're going to go to some of the pictures because I'm kind of a visual girl, and I like to be able to see them. So as you bear with me as I get that all set up, then I can share with you some little tips there. We don't need that one. We need to go to the next one. All right. This is just some ideas of ways to choose a perfect fragrance. Can you all see that? Yes, okay. So um, it's very small, isn't it? <laughs> you want to, uh, I'm gonna flip myself back here. Um, are you romantic? Do you prefer exotic and mysterious or cool and intriguing? Do you want fragrances that make a first impression or leave a lasting one? Yes, you can have them all. Here are some of the things to consider when choosing a fragrance or fragrances that become finishing touches. You want to look at the family of fragrances, whether it's floral, oriental, citrus, fruity, leather, shiper, 
um, I don't know how to say that next way. Full, full, four, I don't know, F-O-U-G-H-R-E, musk or woody. The notes, um, there's a top, middle, and a bottom. Melinda really explained that well with the Illuminea. And then the mood, um, you want to think about how it describes you, sophisticated, confident, romantic, and thoughtful, fruit, and sensual, or fun and sensual, <laughs> adventurous, and spirited. And then the application, there's an eau de toilette, an eau de parfum, and colognes, and then we have the extrait day parfum that Melinda shared with us. So then the first one, um, I'm going to pass up these, but if you want to know more helpful tips, um, don't hesitate to ask. You know, there's different ways to apply. You want to put it on your skin, um, not necessarily on your clothes. Uh, so, okay, so here we go. Fragrance is a great gift. These are three of our fragrances that are shown. Um, I'm going to switch and show you Forever Diamonds, Enchanted Wish. Melinda's got that as well. And Thinking of thinking of you and it has a little charm that you can take off there and put on a bracelet um, makes a really great gift actually the box in this one serves as a little uh, gift card you can actually write on the box so beautiful um, so when you're picking you want to um, think about the mood what kind of fragrance you're in the mood for today follow the cues Fragrances and friends have one very important thing in common. Um, distinct personalities. Every Mary Kay fragrance has a mood to match our mood um, to your loved one's personality. And you're the master gift giver. So some of our scents will describe the personality of who you want to gift them to. They're thoughtful. <laughs> there's, there's a fragrance for them. What would you like to add, Melinda? Anything there's live fearlessly. Um, no, I just was listening to that. I was actually, I got kind of lost in my own scent. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. You know, that's what you want to do. You want it to take you away. This is live fearlessly, the bottle of it. It's beautiful. It is in the, um, gosh. Exotic floral. So yeah. it's exotic floral and it's, um, the mood is sophisticated and confident. And actually, I've been wearing the Live Fearlessly a lot prior to this Illuminate coming out. Um, I, I was kind of surprised when I was reading this. That's how I kind of got lost. It's it's about telling your story. And so I love the the thought and how they came up with the scent. Um, but I was I thought that was interesting. It was an exotic floral. The the top notes are um, oh, looks like I got my little thing got cut off here. It's um, bergamot ginger lush petals middle note is bold rose the lily of the valley and orchid and then that bottom note is roasted tonka bean cedarwood australian sandalwood and vanilla musk and i tend to love things that have musk in it i know that that probably ages me or dates me or whatever um there was a whole season where musk was really what lots of us wore uh and so i find when we have a few of our friend our fragrances that have that bottom note being musk, those tend to be my favorites. So live fearlessly is one of them. And, um, and that next one, the chanted wish, I don't know. I was always oh, holding it in my hand. <laughs> oh, you're going to go to Ballara. Okay. I'm going to try and find it. Actually, this is the order that the slides are in. That's so strange. Oh. Ballara is next. I know we'll go through all of them. Mm -hmm. I have the Ballara here. Okay. The creamy floral. It has top notes of um, I don't Samuel know, Fig. My my print is a little. I've got this printed out apparently. Okay. Opal lotus flower. Then the middle notes snowdrop <gasps> flower, gold acacia blossoms, and your bottom notes are milky sandalwood and cotton musk. <gasps> so yeah. Okay. It is for the sophisticated and confident woman. And it's an eau de parfum. Then we have Bella, which is one of my favorites. It's a, a floral fruity. Melinda, can you read what the notes are? Do you have that one? 
I do. I'm sorry. My dog is just going a little oh. crazy right now. Actually, the problem is I have people working in my backyard. So, oh, <laughs> so he wants to get out and I can't really let him out without me watching him because there's some people down there. So I apologize for the distraction today. Again, all of those little things that happen when you work from home and you are on Zoom. If we were live in a, in a, in a television um, place, <laughs> Right, studio. in a studio, uh, we wouldn't have all of those distractions, but you okay, know, here we are. I, so can, Bella, I, I got it. I got it. Bella Bellara <laughs> is the woman who loves feeling beautiful and shares her beauty with confidence. It's from the floral fruity family. And it is going to be for that romantic and thoughtful. I think you already said that. So your top notes are nectarine and apricot. Middle note is rose petals and jasmine. And then the bottom note is blonde woods and cool moss. So this is actually happens to be one of the fragrances that I absolutely love on other people. Whenever I smell it on them, I'm like, oh my gosh, what are you wearing? It's always Bella Bellara. Uh, but on me, something about the way that those, those um, ingredients, those notes, how they mix with my pH, it does not smell pretty. <laughs> yeah, I it actually it's... doesn't smell good at all. So I don't wear this one, but I absolutely do love it. I love it too. And Melinda and I have talked before about fragrances. We wonder if there's anything to your blood type and what fragrances smell good on you because we are different blood types, even though we're sisters and the ones that smell good on her don't smell good on me. So right. this brings a little curiosity out in me. So let's go to the next one as our time keeps ticking by. Ooh, this is one of my favorites, Cityscape. Oh, it yes. Is, um, an ambery floriental. Uh, top notes of bergamot, pink pepper, red currant, apricot, violet leaves, middle notes, um, some kind of orchid. <laughs> Phantomia. 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 Mia. Mm -hmm. Scent dog. Charge flower abacus. I don't know. I don't know where you're at. I'm in the middle notes. Oh, phantom and orchid, scent trek, orange flower, absolute peony, and Florentine orris. Okay. And then the bottom notes are sandalwood, damson plum, sustainable vanilla beans from Madagascar, angelica, and amber. So. Yes. The we really have a lot of fragrances that are my favorite now. I like this one too. Right. I can wear this one too. So there must be something that brings us together that works right. for both of us on this one. Amber okay, Floriental. Yes. Here comes our Enchanted Wish. It is a fruity floral. <laughs> um, I love the top notes. Granny Smith apple, orange oil of Brazil, white pineapple and candied petals yeah middle, and then middle notes go ahead stargazer lily peony which i love peony fresh mm -hmm. ozone fresh ozone how do you get fresh ozone um passion fruit <laughs> and then the bottom notes are brown sugar warm amber and illuminating musk it's a beautiful bottle yeah it's it really done. is you can tell i like it i've got a lot out of it <laughs> Find enchantment. That's what they, you know, the the mood that is supposed to create is that romantic and thoughtful and find your enchantment, which I'm not usually romantic and thoughtful. Maybe thoughtful. You're very thoughtful. So that's for sure. Enchanted, you know, it kind of gives a fairy tale feeling, I feel right. like. Yeah. Um, Teresa likes this one. She says this one's one of her favorites. Okay. Awesome. Now we have Forever Diamonds. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. I have a tickle in my throat, smelling perfume. <laughs> Forever Diamonds for the woman who embraces life and lets herself sparkle within it. So this is probably one of your favorite ones. Letting your light shine, huh? Or yeah. Not? I love the, the, the um, but it's a little too sweet for me. Ah. It does make but a I love the bottle. All I love favorites. all of it. <laughs> I probably need so, to try it again. Floral fruity family. The mood is sophisticated and confident. Top notes are sparkling golden peach, jasmine petals, and diamond orchid. Middle note is tuberose absolute, heliotrope, 
and apricot. And the bottom notes are creamy vanilla bean, white and white amber. So, and it's you know, an Odo perfume, two fluid ounces, $40. Mom wears it. When Does I she? opened it up to smell it, it smells like mom. <laughs> the bottle's really pretty with the etched glass as well. So just really, really no detail left undone, I feel like. Yes. Okay. I really tend to like the fruity florals versus the floral fruities. Isn't that something? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Then our two little duos here, thinking of you and thinking of love. We already talked about thinking of you, didn't we? Well, you held it up in that one at the beginning, oh, but we didn't, picture, we didn't break yes. it down. This, so this, this is going to a little charm as well. Yeah. You're going to, thinking of you, you're going to turn a moment into a memory, a fruity Florentine, Florent, it's a fruity Floriental. Uh, so that kind of, I think when the Floriental, I think of a little more spicier, I think. Mm -hmm. Top note is Mandarin, white peach and plum, middle note, Jasmine, pink honeysuckle, lily of the valley. Bottom note, warm tonka, vanilla absolute, sugared patchouli, and soft musk. And it's for the fun and thoughtful person. I do like this one too. Yeah. And then My of course, wears this one. thinking of love is kind of its sister. Um, it's going to be notes to remember. It's from the rose floral family. It's again in that romantic and thoughtful family. Top note, sparkling mandarin, bay rose, spring freesia, middle notes, turkey's rose petals, pink honeysuckle, and French something. It might, my thing is cut off. French violet. And bottom notes are vanilla Madagascar, rich iris, velvety musk, and creamy Cream. Indonesian sandalwood. Yeah. So those two are really great little ones to put under the tree also. And any of this information, is this the, I think what you have pulled up here, Krista, is the um, e-catalog for just fragrance. Is that correct? Yes, that is correct. So, if you're watching now or later and you want this information and you'd like to be able to study it a little bit versus us just rolling through it quickly, um, we can we can um, send you a link to this catalog so that you would have it so that you could you could figure it out yourself. That might Absolutely. sometimes that's helpful. Um, yes, and of course, and I think we're gonna... go ahead. We don't have... We don't have um, we don't have samples of them, but we could spray like a cotton ball or something and get you something if we needed to send that out to you. I mean, there's ways around it. We figured out how to really work this virtually and um, staying safe, social distancing, all of those things. So we we will figure out a way to get you what you need in order to make a, a decision for yourself. So, and Absolutely. I should also say everything in Mary Kay's line is 100% satisfaction guaranteed. So if you buy something from Mary Kay, you get a fragrance or you gift a fragrance to someone and it's not, they're just not crazy about it. It doesn't smell as pretty on them as you'd like it to. They can return it and we will either exchange the product for them or um, give the money back, whichever way. I mean, we can do either way if you've purchased it from us specifically. And um, we send it back to Mary Kay. Mary Kay sends us new products. So we, we don't lose. So don't, you know, take advantage. I mean, do take advantage of that option if it's not exactly right. So. Yes. And if there's several on there that you like, Melinda, I think that because our time is short, do we want to run through the men's line or do we want to save that for another day or know that we can shine a light on him through that e-catalog if you want to read about yeah. them. They're equally wonderful. Um, we have lots for all the men in your um, life, sons, dads, spouse. Whatever. Absolutely. You know, quite honestly, maybe what we should do is we don't have a topic for next Wednesday. Maybe we should feature the, um, the guy in your life, you know, you know, do it. Yeah. We'll do a set. We'll, our lunch and learn next week can be, um, yeah, gifts for him. We can feature the men's um, colognes and even some of the other options that we have that are specific for him. I don't know if we've done that yet, but even if we have, it might be a good one to come back around to. So I agree. Um, I think that that would be, that's a good idea rather than trying to rush through him because we already are. It's already um, three minutes to, you know, it's 1227. Time yes. flies. 
<laughs> it really does. And, and, you know, we have one week left of a very special promotion that we've been running. So if you've been thinking about gathering a few, a few of your girlfriends, you can do a sip and shop over Zoom. You can do a posting party on Facebook and get your entry into win this beautiful, beautiful coach handbag. This is going to go to somebody next Tuesday. So don't delay. If you are, have already been a hostess, your time is coming to find out who our winner is. So there is time. And in, in one thing we found with people staying home and social distancing and being safe, that they're available. They can hop on for a half an hour or, an, you know, over the next few days and do a little bit of um, partying together. Right. So we'd love to schedule that with you. Well, invite three of your friends on tomorrow night. We're going to be right back here for okay. G&I at 8 o'clock. You can invite three friends on to sip and shop with us. We're going to feature holiday gift ideas. Um, so it would be a fun way. You can interact with us and get some of, your, some of your holiday shopping ideas, some of your holiday shopping done. And you can get your name in the entry for that beautiful handbag. And you know, and of course you can earn some free product to go along with that. So, and if you have already, like Krista said, you've already um, hosted a party for us this season during that promotion, make sure that you block off Tuesday night at seven o'clock that you can join us um, when we gather and we do some other fun drawings. We're going to announce who our high hostess was of the contest and um, give that beautiful bag away. So you want to plug yeah. into that. So yeah, definitely. Or just gather some girlfriends and let's do an impromptu. We can do a fast party. Um, you don't need to know two weeks in advance what you're doing. Everybody knows what they're going to do, you know, in the next 24, 48 hours. You don't have to drive anywhere. So right. it's kind of a fun right. thing, right? So. But it is so fun. I love it. It's been it's been a joy to be able to do that and be able to connect with women. We need each other. We're born for communion and connectedness. So we can make the be the best of it you know, for as long as yes. we have to. <laughs> or if you need some income. You know, one of the yeah. things I'm just going to, we can just end with this is that I do know, um, I just read an article the other day that said 865,000 women have exited the workforce because of circumstances with COVID and remote learning and just um, businesses closing, uh, you know, so if that's you or you know somebody that that's impacted and they really could use an opportunity to make some money, have a side hustle, or they need it as a, as a career right now, you know, right. joining us, it's a great great opportunity. You can join this business right now for $30 on our e-start option and, you know, add on the starter kit if you want for 130 total with tax and you can be off in business and making money tomorrow. I mean, that's the thing is we make money instantly. Um, of course, we make money when we work, like when we show the product and tell this story. So I'm not going to tell you to sign up and sit on your couch and people are going to start sending you money. It doesn't work that way. But if you're willing to show the product and tell the story, you can grow a business with Mary Kay. So we'd love to, we'd love to walk you through that. We'd love to have you, have you join us. So um, I think that's a wrap, Krista. I think we're out of time. My dog finally settled yeah. down and you know, we're done. <laughs> Oh, Buzzy. Yes. So thank you. Thank you for joining us today. Come back and join us tomorrow night at eight and mm -hmm. make today, you know, a great day where you go out and let your light shine. Yes. Amen. Have a great one. Bye-bye.